This image went viral, is it a coincidence? Yes. Is there a connection between coronavirus and carnivorous? Yes. A butterfly flutters its wings in the Abyssinium, causes a hurricane in the Caribbean. A man ate a bat in Hubei, causing a shutdown in Bombay. The first coronavirus cases had links to the Huanan seafood wholesale market. In fact, most recent epidemics, swine and avian flu, Ebola, Zika, SARS had all zoonotic origin, transferred from other species to humans. The taste of life is vibrations and beats. The smell of death is bloody red, bloody red meat. On Sunday, November 17, 2019, a 55-year-old man contracted the disease for the first time. I went down to the market to get me a bat. In retrospective, it was a lousy bat. A virus can be harmless to one species and fatal to another. Bats and pangolins cope with the coronavirus just fine. Apparently, we don't. I went down to the I market to get me a thing going and I never thought it never would thought make it. me feel suffocating. Dogs and cats, chickens and rats. Unfortunately, these ain't no pets. Will COVID-19 reduce our crave for meat? The taste of life is vibrations and vibrations and beat. The smell of death is bloody red, bloody red meat. We can't ignore the fact that this crisis forces us to put an emergency brake on our unsustainable habits, primarily the fossil fuel burning. A butterfly flutters its wings in the Abyssinium, causes a hurricane in the Caribbean. A man ate a bat in Hubei, causing a shutdown in Bombay. It feels like an anonymous conspiracy. No flights, less cars, the birds are singing, the butterflies are thriving, the air is clear, Earth heals itself. 